What is the Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about can the Patriots still be successful offensively without Tom Brady? And better yet, could they be better off without Tom Brady? Now, just a disclaimer before you all get your panties in a bunch commenting all this crap. You know, you guys get pretty um, creative <laughs> these days with your hateful comments. But I am basing this all off of last season, okay? I'm not going after the past decade or two or even the, you know, five years ago, Tom Brady. This video, the stats, everything I'm talking about based off of last season heading into the future. In the end, it really doesn't matter what happened five years ago. What happened a decade or two ago. What most matters is where we are standing right now and what is happening with us going forward. And the reason that last year matters is because we're building off of last season. So by now, we all know, unless you've been living under a rock, that Tom Brady has left the New England Patriots by choice, went to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and is looking to vamp up their team down in Tampa Bay, Florida, and potentially win them a Super Bowl. Interesting fact here is that Brady has not been pleased with the Patriots for a while. In fact, it was even said that, I think it was even said by him actually, that he almost walked out of the Patriots facility during this past year's training camp. So clearly, something had been going on with the Patriots for quite a while now, and the Patriots and Tom Brady had played this entire season feeling that way, which... Hey, when you're feeling something, when there's a disconnect in that locker room, there's a disconnect between, you know, player, coach, player, and other players, that shows on the field. A lot of people even speculate that Tom Brady has been feeling this way, and this, this whole situation, and these, these rumors, and the divide between possibly Tom Brady and Bill Belichick had started all the way a few years ago when... Bill Belichick was forced to trade Jimmy Garoppolo and news came out that Belichick actually preferred to trade Brady over Garoppolo. It was even reported that Tom Brady is the one who wanted to make sure his contract was set up to make sure that there was a void in it in case things didn't go well. He didn't want to play with the New England Patriots anymore and he definitely started to prove that towards the end of the season, especially the offseason. And now Brady has decided to head in another direction. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't hate Brady. This isn't a hate on Brady type of video. I'm still very much grateful for Tom Brady, what Brady did for the Patriots throughout his time. Without Brady, I don't think there's any way that we win six Super Bowls. But according to playerprofiler.com, which is an advanced website, has a lot of advanced stats for players and teams, Really great website, but some very interesting stats that I found out here that uh, one surprised me, but two, I don't think the majority of Patriots fans know. And that is last season, Tom Brady's wide receivers averaged 1.72 yards of separation per play, which somehow ranked six in the NFL. Now, of course, the biggest thing that stands out to that is the fact that the Patriots' separation wasn't as bad as we all thought. In fact, they ranked 6th in the NFL. Now, I don't know how that happened, but it happened. Then to go on top of that, when Tom Brady had a clean pocket, he completed 68% of his passes, which ranked 32nd in the NFL. And to me, these statistics were... A huge eye-opener. They, they really brought on a whole new viewpoint for me heading forward. This whole offseason, even last season, we were all saying how this is not Tom Brady's fault. You know, it's 100% the wide receivers. They can't get any separation. They suck. And then, we also said how Tom Brady was never able to have a clean pocket. The O-line was terrible, which, in partial truth, was correct. You know, there were times that this offensive line was not performing great, and it definitely was not the offensive line that we saw that was top three in 2018. But still, when this offensive line was able to keep Brady upright, when they were able to make sure that he was pressure free, and he was able to stand up in his pocket, he still only completed 68% of the passes, 
which was again was ranked 32nd in the NFL. Now, guys, with currently no NBA, no NHL, no MLB, you might be thinking that there is nothing possibly that you could bet on right now. But our exclusive partners, Bet Online, still has hundreds of events, games, and props that you can wager on, all the way from you know blackjack to to, to poker, as they are bringing Vegas to your home. I know that about 90% of you are NFL fans, football fans, and that you're missing at the NFL, and that is no problem because Bet Online has daily live Madden NFL 20 simulations that you can wager on. And for some of you that just aren't interested in betting on sports, and you guys like entertainment instead, Bet Online has that also. They have Survivor, Big Brother, American Idol, and so much more that you can bet on. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Visit the website or use your mobile device. Yes, you can use your laptop, your phone, whatever it may be, and join today to receive your new welcome bonus with the promo code CLNS50. That is CLNS50. But I'm sure that a lot of other people going on to that last statistic are going to say, well, Patriots Global, when Tom Brady was able to have that clean pocket and he got throws off, The receivers would drop the ball, and that is why he's ranked last in the NFL with a 68% completion rate in a clean pocket. And without a doubt, part of that is true. It's no secret that some of these Patriots receivers had issues from time to time with drop. Julian Edelman had some times where he dropped. Mohamed Sanu had some times where they dropped. But you do not rank 32nd in the NFL with a 68% completion percentage in a clean pocket just by your receivers dropping balls I mean for that to be the case the receivers would have had to drop the ball on basically every other play that he had a clean pocket and we all know that that was not the case I mean it's not like the Patriots ranked last in the NFL with their receivers dropping balls now the Patriots as an offensive committee were the big reason that this offense did not have success. I'm not out here specifically just trying to to blame Tom Brady. I'm not trying to say that the receivers, the tight ends, the O-line, the running backs had nothing to do with it. But we're all sitting back here and we're saying how Brady had nothing to do with it. That Brady was just the perfect quarterback who, who was flawless. When in reality, these statistics show really the opposite of that. My honest to God answer here is that, yes, I think that the Patriots can be better offensively than they were this past season, for sure. I think that we could get better play from Jared Stidham this upcoming year than we did from Tom Brady this past season. But what I'm not trying to say is that Jared Stidham is the new Tom Brady, that Jared Stidham is a better version of Tom Brady, because no one can match what the GOAT has done. But again, we are looking at last season and the future, not what happened 5, 10, 20 years ago. Everybody knows that to stop Tom Brady, you got to get pressure on him. That is the best way to end the Patriots offense. And now that is the way to end the Buccaneers offense. Brady is not a very mobile quarterback. That's something we all know. We will rarely see him ever running the ball. We do see it from time to time. When he does, it's a very shocking. Crowd goes crazy because of how very rare it is. But he will only do it when he makes sure that no defenders are around for him to get hit. He's an over 40-year-old quarterback. He's a guy in his 40s at the position that he's doing something nobody's ever done. He's an un, uh, an unterritorial place. As Patriots fans, we have seen that When Tom Brady would get pressure, when someone would be coming up to the middle, Tom Brady did not always escape the pocket very well. Now, there were times that he would maneuver and try to shake them off. But a lot of times, especially this past season, when a guy would be coming near Brady, Brady would just go right to the floor. And I'm not here trying to say that Brady's a wimp because I don't think that's why he did it. I think that the reason Brady would do that is because, again, He's a quarterback in his 40s. One hit. One hit the wrong way could end this guy's career. And that's the last thing he won. So it's just him being more protective. You know, go down and just take the sack. Don't risk any potential injury. But we're at a position now 
where we have a much younger and a much more athletic quarterback who is able to use his feet and use his feet very well, which opens the Patriots playbook up to much bigger options. I also think that it will much more help the Patriots system to be able to keep the chains moving. With Tom Brady, it was either pass the ball, run the ball, or take a sack. When it came to passing plays, Brady only had so much options. Because he would rarely run the ball, it was either Brady is going to make a completion, usually it's going to be a check down, he's going to take a sack, or he's going to throw the ball away. But now with Jared Stidham, because we have a guy who is able to escape the pocket, who's able to use his feet because he's bringing a much needed form of athleticism, he can keep the chains moving because he has another aspect that he can bring on, let's say, if he doesn't like a read he sees or no receivers are able to get open. He can scramble. He can try to pick up more yardage, potentially a first down, and really help keep the chains moving offensively. Right now, Jared Sidham does not have the mental capacity of Tom Brady. doesn't have that mindset that Tom Brady has, being able to easily pick apart every last little bit of a defense. Now, Jared Stidham is able to pick apart a defense already. He's able to diagnose it very well, doing it at a higher level than even some veteran quarterbacks are doing, but definitely not at the rate that Tom Brady was able to do. Brady was able to use his experience, his veteran aspect in the NFL, and used it a way that no other veteran in this league was able to do, especially at the quarterback position. This is Jared Stidham's second year in the NFL, first year as a starter. So yeah, he's nowhere even close to what Brady has in that aspect. Only time can give that aspect to Jared Stidham. But Pats Nation, we are also getting abilities from Jared Stidham that we have not had with Tom Brady before. But that is going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on this situation? And what did you guys think about the stats that I threw at you? Were you guys as surprised as I was? Or is this something that you're just surprisingly not shocked about? Let me know in the comments section below. Like this video, guys. It seriously helps me and the channel out. The best way to support the channel um, without having to, of course, pay a single cent is just by hitting that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel for all your New England Patriots news if you have not already. But other than that, I will catch you guys in my next video.